question 87.15. Questioner, then assuming that a single negatively oriented entity is responsible for the recruiting of a harvested third density entity and adds its polarity to his negative polarity and power, what type of ability or what type of benefit is this and how is it used by the entity? Answer, I am Ra. The so-called pecking order is immediately challenged and the entity with increased power exercises the power to control more other selves and to advance within the social memory complex structure. Question 87.16 Questioner, how is this power measured? How is it obvious that this entity has gained this additional power? Answer, I am Ra. In some cases there is a kind of battle. This is a battle of wheels and the weapons consist of the light that can be formed by each contender. In most cases where the shift of power has been obvious it simply is acknowledged in those seeing benefit from associating with this newly more powerful entity aided in rising within the structure. Question 87.17 Questioner, thank you. We noticed a possibility of confusion between the term mind, body, spirit and mind, body, spirit complex in the last session. Were there a couple of misuses of those terms in shifting one for the other? Answer, I am Ra. There was an error in transmission. The use of the term mind, body, spirit should refer to those entities dwelling in third density prior to the veiling process. The term mind, body, spirit complex, referring to those entities dwelling in third density after the veiling process. We also discover a failure on our part to supply the term complex when speaking of body after the veiling. Please correct these errors. Also, we ask that you keep a vigilant watch over these transmissions for any errors and question without fail as it is our intention to provide as undistorted a series of sound vibration complexes as is possible. This entity, though far better cleared of distortions towards the pain flares when prepared by those mental vibration complexes you call prayer, is still liable to fluctuation due to its pre-incarnative body complex distortions and the energizing of them by those of negative polarity. Question 87.18 Questioner, thank you. We will make the corrections asterisk. In the last session you made the statement that before the veiling, sexual energy transfer was always possible. I would like to know what you meant by, it was always possible, and why it was not always possible after the veiling, just to clear up that point. Asterisk the text was corrected before publishing and now reads as it should. Answer, I am Ra. We believe that we grasp your query and will use the analogy in your culture of the battery which lights the flashlight bulb. Two working batteries placed in series always offer the potential of the bulb's illumination. After the veiling, to continue this gross analogy, the two batteries being placed not in series would then offer no possible illumination of the bulb. Many mind, body, spirit complexes after the veiling have, through blockages, done the equivalent of reversing the battery. Question 87.19 Questioner, what was the primary source of the blockages that caused the battery reversal? Answer, I am Ra. Please query more specifically as to the mind, body, spirits or mind, body, spirit complexes about which you request information. Question 87.20 Questioner, before the veil there was knowledge of the bulb lighting technique, shall we say? After the veil some experiments created a bulb lighting, some resulted in no bulb lighting. Other than the fact that information was not available on methods of lighting the bulb, was there some root cause of the experiments that resulted in no bulb lighting? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 87.21 Questioner, what was this root cause? Answer, I am Ra. The root cause of blockage is the lack of the ability to see the other self as the creator, or to phrase this differently, the lack of love. Question 87.22 Questioner, in our particular illusion the sexual potential for the male seems to peak somewhere prior to the age 20 and the female's peak is some 10 years later. What is the cause of this difference in peaking sexual energy? Answer, I am Ra. We must make clear distinction between the yellow ray, third density, chemical bodily complex and the body complex which is a portion of the mind, body, spirit complex. The male, as you call this polarity, 
has an extremely active yellow ray desire at the space-time in its incarnation when its sperm is the most viable and full of the life-giving spermato. Thusly the red ray seeks to reproduce most thickly at the time when this body is most able to fulfill the red ray requirements. The yellow ray, chemical body complex of the female, as you call this polarity, must needs have a continued and increasing desire for the sexual intercourse for it could only conceive once in one 15 to 18 month period, given that it carries the conceived body complex, bears it, and suckles it. This is training to the physical body of yellow ray. To compensate for this the desire increases so that the yellow ray body is predisposed to continue in sexual congress, thus fulfilling its red ray requirement to reproduce as thickly as possible. The more, shall we say, integral sexuality or polarity of the body complex, which is a portion of the mind, body, spirit complex, does not concern itself with these yellow ray manifestations but rather follows the ways of the seeking of energy transfer and the furthering of aid and service to others or to the self. Question 87.23 Questioner, in addition, why is the ratio of male to female orgasm so heavily loaded on the side of the male? Answer, I am Ra. We refer now to the yellow ray, physical body or, if you will, body complex. At this level the distinction is unimportant. The male orgasm which motivates the sperm forward to meet its ovum is essential for the completion of the red ray desire to propagate the species. The female orgasm is unnecessary. Again, as mind, body, spirit complexes begin to use the sexual energy transfer to learn, to serve, and to glorify the one infinite creator the function of the female orgasm becomes more clear. Question 87.24 Questioner, what was this ratio before the veil? Answer, I am Ra. The ratio of male to female orgasms before the veil was closer to one to one by a great deal as the metaphysical value of the female orgasm was clear and without shadow. Question 87.25 Questioner, is it meaningful to give this ratio in early fourth density and if so, would you do that? Answer, I am Ra. In many ways it is quite meaningless to speak of orgasm of male and female in higher densities as the character and nature of orgasm becomes more and more naturally a function of the mind, body, spirit complex as a unit. It may be said that the veil in fourth density is lifted and the choice has been made. In positive polarities true sharing is almost universal. In negative polarities true blockage so that the conqueror obtains orgasm, the conquered almost never, is almost universal. In each case you may see the function of the sexual portion of experience as being a most efficient means of polarization. Question 87.26 Questioner, in our illusion we have physical definitions for possible transfers of energy. We label them as the conversion of potential to kinetic or kinetic to heat and examine this with respect to the increasing entropy. When we speak of sexual energy transfers and other more basic forms of energy I am always at a loss to properly use, you might say, the terms since I am not understanding, and possibly can't understand, the basic form of energy that we speak of. However, I intuit that this is the energy of pure vibration, that is, at the basic level of our illusion, that vibration between the space and time portion of the space-time continuum and yet somehow is transferred into our illusion in a more basic form than that. Could you expand on this area for me, please? Answer, I am Ra. Yes. Question 87.27 Questioner, would you do that? Answer, I am Ra. You are correct in assuming that the energy of which we speak in discussing sexual energy transfers is a form of vibratory bridge between space-time and time-space. Although this distinction is not apart from that which follows, the which follows may shed light upon that basic statement. Due to the veiling process the energy transferred from male to female is different than that transferred from female to male. Due to the polarity difference of the mind, body, spirit complexes of male and female the male stores physical energy, the female mental and mental emotional energy. When third density sexual energy transfer is completed the male will have offered the discharge of physical energy. The female is, thereby, refreshed, having far less physical vitality. At the same time, if you will use this term, the female discharges the efflux of its stored mental and mental emotional energy, 
thereby offering inspiration, healing, and blessing to the male which by nature is less vital in this area. At this time may we ask for one more full query. Question 87.28 Questioner, why is the male and the female nature different? Answer, I am Ra. When the veiling process was accomplished, to the male polarity was attracted the matrix of the mind and to the female, the potentiator of the mind, to the male the potentiator of the body, to the female the matrix of the body. May we ask if there are any brief queries before we close this working? Question 87.29 Questioner, is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or to improve the contact? Answer, I am Ra. We shall find the suggested readjustment of the sensor helpful. The alignments are good. You have been conscientious, my friends. We leave you now in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing merrily in the power and in the ineffable peace of the one infinite creator.